Hi, how do you pronounce the word B-O-M-B? This is Susan Broder from Speak Languages and Travel the World, here to help you improve your English with minimum effort and maximum benefit. Now, uh, the English language is very difficult. Uh, it's difficult to learn the pronunciation because it has quite different origins and therefore there are no real rules or very few real rules and we English have great difficulty understanding you if you don't pronounce things correctly because we can't imagine how the words are written and therefore we ourselves have to learn the spelling uh, from the pronunciation that we learnt at birth. Uh, therefore it's really important to learn pronunciation. However, a few rules regard the silent letters uh, and the silent letters at the end of the word, only at the end of the word, like MB, have got some pronunciation rules. But before I give them to you, I want you to click here on the link above and download my free, absolutely free, fluency exercises so you can uh, experience the benefit of improving your English in only 10 minutes a day whilst you're driving to work or doing something which doesn't occupy your mind. And then if you uh, find them useful, maybe you can buy uh, one of my subsequent weeks from the website. Uh, so how do we pronounce the word B-O-M-B? Well, any word, at the end, uh, any word that ends in M-B, you don't pronounce the B only the M, so it's really very easy. It's a bomb, a bomb that often explodes, unfortunately. And as a result, these jackets that many people wear are called bomber jackets and not bomber, as many people abroad call them. Bomber jackets because they come from the word bomb. Okay, now other words that end in um, in MB are, for example, lamb. Lamb is a little sheep, and there was a famous film called The Silence of the Lambs. So, again, without the B. Uh, other words with MB, a comb. You can comb your hair, C-O-M-B. Or you can climb a mountain. So many people climb Mount Everest. Uh, then if you want to go hitchhiking, you have to pull out your thumb. Or if you want to agree with someone and say everything is okay, you can say thumbs up. Then uh, what about the Egyptian tombs? T-O-M-B is tomb. And there are many Egyptian tombs worth visiting. Now, um, if you can't feel a part of your body, maybe you've been sitting in the wrong position, it will be numb. That means you can't feel it, N-U-M-B. And some people, usually connected to the fact that they are deaf and they can't hear, have difficulty speaking, so we say they are dumb. D-U-M-B. Unfortunately, dumb is also used to say people are stupid. But dumb is the uh, correct uh, word and pronunciation in reality for people who can't speak. Uh, uh, when you um, cook, you put um, uh, many things in breadcrumbs. Uh, so crumb is C-R-U-M-B, is a fine piece uh, of uh, bread that has uh, fallen off the bread. These are crumbs, also of biscuits. Uh, but crumb is the word. Uh, you can also have a, an apple crumble, but that is not exactly at the end of the word, so we do pronounce the B in crumble. Parts of the body, your arms, your legs, the long parts are called limbs, L-I-M-B, limb. And where the baby um, lives and grows for the first nine months of its life inside the woman, that is called a womb. A womb. So let me repeat them for you. Bomb and bomber jacket. Lamb. Comb. Climb. Thumb. Tomb. 
crumb, numb, dumb, limb, and womb. Okay, so these are very important pronunciations uh, because we can misunderstand you if you don't pronounce them correctly. Look forward to seeing you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!